Okay guys, today I will be showing you how you can filter through the cards using pure CSS without any JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So for example, we're going to have cards that are blue, orange and purple here. If we click on blue, we're only going to get blue cards. We're also going to be changing this to blue and changing the text to white. Mm -hmm. If we click orange, we're going to get orange cards only and the same thing for purple. And then if we click back on all, we're going to get all of them back. So let's come to our HTML. I have this open with live server already, so we can start adding things. So the first thing we want to have is a container. Let's make some space here. Then we're going to have an input that's going to be type radio. We're going to have ID that's going to be all. And we're also going to have a name that's going to be color. Then under that, we want to add a label that's going to be for all. And the text is just going to say. So this is what we have here. And then we're going to copy this three more times. So all of these. So let's copy it three more times here. Then our next button is going to be for the colors. So we have blue, orange, and purple. So this one, we want to change the ID to blue. Label for blue. And the text should say blue as well. Then this one, we're going to change ID to orange. Label for should also be orange. And here for the text, we want to add orange. And then the last one is going to have ID of purple. Label for is going to be purple. And the text is going to be purple as well. So we got all of them here. Now let's make some space and here we're going to add cards. So let's make a div with a class of card and we're going to add 16 of these. So we're going to do card times 16. And then we want to add a second class to all of them just to change the colors later on. So once we target them, we can easily change the colors. So let's do blue for the first one. Then orange. Let's do blue again. Purple, so blue, orange, then let's do orange again, purple, you guys can change this as much as you like, and we're going to have blue, purple, let's add orange here. Purple again, then we can have blue, blue again, and then let's try purple and orange. So based on these classes, we're going to be adding colors of the our cards in CSS. So let's switch to our CSS. And the first thing we want to target is our body. We want to remove the margin first. We're going to add a background. And we also want to add a font family of sans serif. Then we can target our container. We're going to make it 100%. And we can also add max width of 1200 pixels. We're going to add margin zero auto to center it on the page. And for now, let's just leave it as it is. Then we can target our card. We're going to make it 23% in width. We're going to add a height of 180 pixels and margin of 10 pixels. So this is going to apply the styles for all these cards and then we can target these specific ones like blue, orange and purple just to add a background. So let's target blue first. I'm going to add a blue background here. As you can see here, so these are all the cards. Then the next one we have is orange. Another backup for those as well. And the last one we have is purple. So now we got all the cards here. Layout is not perfect still, but we're going to come back to that. Then we can target our input. And our input is type radio. 
and we're just gonna use this plain none just to hide it completely we're only gonna show labels then here we can target our label we're gonna make it 23 percent add a background white text align to center I'm gonna make color of 111, margin 30 pixels top and bottom, and 10 pixels for left and right, padding 40 pixels here, and cursor pointer. And then if we come back here to our container, we're gonna display flex, and we're gonna use flex wrap wrap. There we go. So we got our layout. Nothing's still gonna work, but the layout is there. So the first thing we wanna target is our input, that's type radio. And then we're gonna target an input with ID of blue. So we can do ID blue. And then if we come back, we added IDs here. So we have ID blue, all orange and purple. So we're targeting that with ID of blue. Wanna see, we wanna target a checked one. And then we want to add plus label here. So once it's checked, we want to add our background to our label. That's going to be this blue background right here. So we can just copy that. And we also want to add a color of white. Let's see if that works, as you see. Then we're going to do under that. We can do the similar thing. We're going to do input type radio. We're gonna get ID equals blue. So if the ID is blue here, checked. And once it once it's checked, we're gonna target the orange class we have. So if we search for the orange class here, you can see all of these have orange class. So we don't wanna hide all of them. But we also wanna hide the other ones. So like we wanna hide purple ones as well. Once we click on blue. So we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to add a comma. And into new line, we want to paste this. And the only thing we want to replace is purple here so instead of orange. So purple. And we're just going to set this plain none. So every time we click on ID of blue, which is this, we want to set all the cards that are orange or all the cards that have the class orange and purple that you see here to display none. And that works. So now we can just repeat the process for all of them. So under that, we're gonna do input. We're gonna do type radio. And then here we wanna add an ID. So now we're gonna target the ID of orange. Then checked. And once it's checked, we wanna target a label. And here we're just gonna copy this background orange that we have to change the background of our label and we're also going to add a color of white so now if we click on orange it changes to that background and white color so that works perfectly fine and under that we're going to do input type radio again id orange so it's going to be the similar thing as we have here so we're gonna target checked. But in our case, we wanna get the blue first. And then we're also gonna do the same exact thing. So once we check the orange one, we wanna hide blue and purple. So this one is gonna be purple. And we're just gonna add display of none. So if we click on orange, can display orange cards and we're hiding blue and purple ones. So let's go under that. The last one we have is what's that input type radio. We're gonna target ID of purple. We can target a checked one. And then we're gonna get our label. And once we click on the purple one, we wanna change the label background to this. So we can copy this line. Add it here, and we also want to change the color to white. So now, if we click on the purple one, that works. And then here, we're gonna target our input again. So input type radio, 
we want to target ID of purple. And once it's checked, so now we want to get, once we click on the purple one, we want to hide orange and blue. So let's target orange first, add a comma, and we're going to copy this again and just change this orange to blue. So we want to target blue and orange cards once we click on this and just set them to display of none. And that should be it for this project. If we go back now, let's reload the page. We have all cards showing. If we click on blue, it's showing the blue only. If we click on orange, it's showing orange cards. And if we click purple, it's showing purple cards. And if we click back to all, it's going to show all the cards together. So that would be it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.